The reason why I'm addressing the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu community yet again is not because I don't think that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is viable. It's because no matter what information is available, no matter what proof is available, these people just don't get it. Henzo Gracie gets caught in the headlock, gets thrown down, right, in New York. This is a, a mistake. This is a mistake on his part that no combative self-defense or self-protection instructor would just wash away. It is a major, major, number one, basic, basic lesson. Keeping space between you and a potential assailant. Henzo Gracie knew that that particular individual might swing at him or might grab him. There was a disagreement. There was a disagreement that would and should have sent some kind of signal, some kind of signal to any person serious about the martial arts that they needed to put their hands up in a particular position, they needed to lower their chin, they needed to step back in order to have their power forward in case they need to throw a palm strike or a straight palm or a punch or, or whatever. Henzo Gracie getting caught in that headlock shows that Henzo Gracie is not, and I'm saying this, is not qualified to teach self-defense or self-protection, okay? He's qualified, obviously, to teach Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He is not qualified to teach self-defense or self-protection, and it proves what I've been saying for the last 10 years. Now, I'm going to give you a list of people that makes it unrefutable that wrestling is king of the cage. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to use a logical argument here a logical argument that shows once again that the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu community is in complete and utter denial. Here we go. If you, and I'm talking to you, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu community, I'm talking about black belts in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, I'm talking about the Gracies, I am talking about all of you. This is the most profound thing that has ever been said to any one of you who train in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, including the Gracies. Everyone. I am not leaving out anyone. Everyone who teaches Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, everyone who trains in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, everyone who does not train in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, or train in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu but happens to be a fan of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, this is to you. If you need to mention the Gracies, when you talk about the validity of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, you have proven my point. I repeat, if you have to refer back to the Gracies, you have proven my point. Because if Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, whatever you want to call it, if it was superior, it would be the system that you would refer to and not the Gracies. Case in point. I don't need to tell you that boxing is a viable martial art. I don't need to refer to Muhammad Ali. I certainly don't need to refer to Jack Johnson or Jack Dempsey. Right? Why? Because I can refer to Floyd Mayweather, Terrence Crawford, Canelo Alvarez, Lomachenko, uh, Earl Spence, Usyk. I can refer back to umpteen boxers. There is, why? Because it is the system. It's not one to two people. It's not a family of seven. It's not a family of 20. You see? I don't need to go back to someone 30 years ago, right, who, who was successful 30 years ago and say, well, see, this is proof that this particular martial art works. The fact that you people keep bringing up the Gracies show that you are hanging on to a complete and utter myth. A myth, okay? Wrestling. I don't have to refer back to Mark, Kerr, Mark Coleman or Mark Kerr. I don't have to refer back to them to tell you that wrestling is king of the cage. There's no need for me to do that because I'm going to give you a list of wrestlers. 
all right? A list of primarily wrestlers. These are people, some of these people have been given blue belts and purple belts, some even black belts by Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu uh, teachers who try to um, uphold the myth of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu um, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu dominance. But the list I'm going to give you are wrestlers. Why? Because it's the wrestling system. It's wrestling that is supreme. It's wrestling that is dominant. I don't need to go back and tell you bring up Mark Kerr or bring up Mark Kerr, uh, uh, Coleman or bring up um, Kevin Randleman. No, I don't need to. The fact that you people keep talking about the Gracies shows that there is virtually nothing else. I'm going to say this. I'm going to have a drink because what I'm going to tell you, nobody has the courage to tell you. John Dan and her, Joe Rogan, they don't have the courage to tell you this. Take away the Gracies and you have virtually nothing in MMA that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu has contributed to. Take away the Gracies and you have virtually nothing. Nothing. Okay? And remember, I'm going to read you a list of wrestlers. Okay? Take away the Gracies. What do you have? I'll give you the Noguera brothers. I'll even give you Anderson Silva, who was primarily a striker, but he did get that last that last couple seconds um, triangle brilliant triangle uh, um, choke on um, Chael Sonnen, right? In their, in their first fight. I will give you one of my favorite fighters, even though he's Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I will give you one of my favorite fighters, Charles Oliveira, and I will be doing a video on Charles Oliveira, critiquing Charles Oliveira's upcoming fight against Ali uh, Makachev. I believe that's how you pronounce the last name. Right? Okay? I'll give you Charles Oliveira. Right? I'll give you Damian Maya. Because Damian Maya actually proves something too. Damian Maya is one of the most accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu players that ever came into uh, mixed martial arts. Damian Maya, most of you didn't know that. Damian Maya is one of the most accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. In other words, when he was competing in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he was accomplished. Many, many wins, many championships, many medals, many trophies. Okay? Okay. He's not top 30 in mixed martial arts. And yet he is one of the most accomplished Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu players to ever enter into mixed martial arts. Damian Maya. All right? But again, you have to go back to the Gracies to prove that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was viable and that Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu was effective, then you have already lost your argument with me. You take the Gracies out of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and what do you have? The Noguera brothers, you have Anderson Silva, you, I'll give you, I'll throw in BJ Penn. I'll give you a gift, I'll throw in BJ Penn, right? You have uh, um, Charles Oliveira, you have very little else. I do not have to go back to Ali. I do not have to go back to Joe Lewis. I do not have to go back to Sugar Ray Leonard. I do not have to go down back to Pernell Whitaker. I don't even have to go back to Floyd Mayweather to tell you that boxing is a viable martial art. I don't have to do it. But Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fanatics keep going back to the Gracies. Now, before I give you this list, I want to now tell you this about the Gracies. All of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fanatics who keep referring back to the Gracies forget that a man by the name of Kazushi Sagaraba right and Matt Hughes both took turns beating most of the legendary Gracies other than Hickson right most, they took turns beating, and these are wrestlers. These are wrestlers. Matt Hughes went as far as to refuse a black belt from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He went as far as to refuse a black belt from Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, right? Sakuraba and Matt Hughes took turns beating virtually every Gracie except Hickson. So there we go again. And it's no surprise. It's no surprise that people like Art Davies, who actually co-founded the UFC with Horry and Gracie, because Art Davies in 1992, before the first UFC, in 1992, ladies and gentlemen, said, said that as soon as wrestlers know what a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu um, artist needs to get a submission, wrestling would dominate Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Art Davies said that. He said he knew it. He didn't want to say it to Horry but he knew it. He knew it 
because he saw Hicks and Gracie rolling with wrestler Mark Schultz and having a hell of a time doing it. Okay? So, if you got to go back to the Gracies that talk about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I am telling you, you've lost the argument. Why? Because I do not have to go back to Ali. I don't have to go back to Joe Lewis. I don't have to go back to Jack Dempsey. I don't have to go back to any of them. In fact, I will even give you better. I will even make it more damning. I will even throw water on your coffin, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu fanatic, and tell you I don't even have to go back to Floyd Mayweather. Because we have Terrence Crawford, we have Lomachenko, we have Javante Davis, we have Canelo Alvarez, we have Usyk. There is no question that boxing is a superior striking art. Why? Because of the work it does all the time with many, many, many people who use the system of boxing. Okay? Take the Gracies away and you have very little. Very little. If Gracie Jiu Jitsu or Brazilian Jiu Jitsu was superior, you would have most people, most of the greatest MMA fighters, you would have them being Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And they are not. Now, here, I am going to close the coffin on you by giving you this list. This list I'm going to give you are primarily wrestlers. You can look up their biographies, you can look up their past, and they will tell you. You will see Wikipedia, you will look and see. If you Google it, you will see that they are primarily wrestlers. Some of these people, because of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, um, uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu's unethical way of promoting wrestlers, some of them had blue belts, or purple belts, brown belts, even black belts, like Daniel Cormier and King uh, Velasquez. They, some of them had belts in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, but that is only because only because of the unethical practice of the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu community. These people are wrestlers. Here is the list. Khabib, George St. Pierre, John Jones, Daniel Cormier, Kamaru Usman, Demetrius Johnson, Henry Cejudo, Dominique Cruz, Colby Covington, Randy Couture, T.J. Dillashaw, Tony Ferguson, Mike Chandler, Stipe Miocic, Islam Makachev, Tito Ortiz, Alexander Volkanovsky, Kamzak Chimaev, Matt Hughes, Yoel Romero, Gray Maynard, Frankie Edgar, Charles Sonnen, Mark Munoz, Chris Weidman, Tyron Woodley, Kevin Randleman, Cain Velasquez, Johnny Hendricks, Frank Shamrock, Dan Henderson, Mark Coleman, Kazushi Sagaraba, Ken Shamrock, Rashad Evans, Mark Kerr, Dan Severin, Don Fry, Uriah Faber. Every single one of these men are primarily wrestlers. Primarily wrestlers. Once again, here is the damning, the damning list of wrestlers. Listen to the names in this list. These people are wrestlers. Khabib, George St. Pierre, John Jones, Daniel Cormier, Kamaru Usman, Demetrius Johnson, Henry Cejudo, Dominique Cruz, Colby Covington, Randy Couture, T.J. Dillashaw, Tony Ferguson, Mike Chandler, Stipe Miocic, Islam Mekachev, Tito Ortiz, Alexander Volkanovsky, Kamzak Chimaev, Matt Hughes, Yoel Romero, Gray Maynard, Frankie Edgar, Charles Sonnen, Mark Munoz, Chris Weidman, Tyron Woodley, Kevin Randleman, Cain Velasquez, Johnny Hendricks, Frank Shamrock, Dan Henderson, Mark Coleman, Kazushi Sagaraba, Ken Shamrock, Rashad Evans, Mark Kerr, Dan Severin, Don Fry, Uriah Faber. Take away the great season, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has been hyped. It has been hyped. It has made millions of people. It has made many people millions of dollars. It is the most unethical marketing machine that has ever come about as a, uh, in the martial arts ever. Ever. If you have to go back to the Gracies, you have proven my point. And since the Gracies, we need to understand and you need to accept whether you like it or not. I am going to jam it down your throat. Sakuraba and Matt Hughes took turns beating virtually every Gracie except Hickson. If you have to go back to the Gracies to give any kind of proof of the effectiveness of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, then you have failed to prove your point.
You have failed to prove your point. I do not need to go back with Joe Lewis or Jack Johnson or Muhammad Ali or even Floyd Mayweather to talk about the dominance of boxing and the value of boxing as a, 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 a martial art and as a combative sport. The same thing applies to wrestling. I do not have to go back to Kevin Randleman or Mark Kerr or 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 or, or, or um Dan Severin or Don Fry. I do not have to go back to any of those individuals that talk about the complete and utter dominance of wrestling in the cage. Take the Gracies away and what you have is the success of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and the biggest thing, the thing that Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has going for itself are the lies and the myths perpetrated by the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu community, including most of all the Gracies and people like Joe Rogan. My name is Safe Carmen, and I want to be very clear. I want to say this to all the people who sent me your emails. I want to tell you that I am going to do a separate video talking about why you will get more, uh, more of my material um, than any subscriber to the channel. I will be posting a video telling you some of the benefits of me having your email and uh, being part of my upcoming platform. I will also be reading an excerpt, excerpt from my upcoming um, my upcoming um, ebook, one of the upcoming ebooks. Um, that now the excerpt will be for all subscribers. The ebook itself will only go out along with another ebook. Will only go out to those people whose emails. I have as a gift for being part of my my martial arts family. All right. All right. I'll see you in the next video.